YouTube is PG Book is coming at you with another banger video. And today we got something a little different. We got 2020 and 2021 jersey reveals for like new uniforms for the team and stuff. I'm gonna be this is a little different though because I'm doing reactions now. Not through all my straight videos, but I'm gonna be doing NBA Live Mobile still, you know. But I'm just gonna be adding reactions to the part of my channel. Because I don't want to just be having my channel dry with only NBA Live Mobile content, you know what I'm saying? So, and I want a little bit of variety so you guys aren't tired of just watching oh, me playing NBA Live Mobile and doing gameplays and NBA Live Mobile videos, stuff like that. I know people can grow just off of one thing, but it's better to expand your variety off of things that you would like to do and stuff than more than, uh, than just people want you to do and like stuff like that. But if you guys like this... Uh, make sure you comment down below and tell me if you like it or don't like it. Um, and make sure before the video starts, like up the video and help your boy get to 250 subs before the year ends by subscribing. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. So, this is the official NBA. Um, this is the official NBA uh, website right here. So this isn't no fake stuff. This is all the real stuff right here. So. Just gonna get into it. Skip that. I'm not trying to leak anything so I don't see it. Okay, but so first we got the Atlanta Hawks. You guys can read the stuff yourself. I'm not reading it, sorry. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I can work with these. I can work with these. These are the season jerseys. These aren't the city jerseys yet. The city jerseys are below these. And they better be some heat. Because I heard there was some heat. So I'm trying to see that. So we got the we got Kevin Herter on the right. Trey Young on the left, and then John Collins in the middle, okay. The thing is, these are nice and all, yeah, but it just needs, like, a little more. It needs more than just, I know Atlanta colors are, like, red and yellow, yeah, and orange and stuff like that. But it just needs a little more flair to it. Like, maybe they can add, like, the old school ego back to it or something. That would be kind of nice. But although these are, or, but all four of these are pretty good jerseys. I like them personally. These are, yeah. I like the one Trey on drunk in the best because the red, it just looks nice. I, I don't like the black one the most. I don't like the black one that much. It's just kind of bland, honestly. It just is the words hocked on it, and it looks 3D, and that's not that much. Maybe the back design is something different. I don't know. Uh, tell me in the comments if the back, di back design is something different, but I don't think it is. So, yeah. And the white one's pretty nice. I will rock that. Uh, but not a one I've caught for, sh for the store, unless it was a red one, for sure. Okay. So let's see. It says Atlanta also announced a blah 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 etc. Okay, with the Martin Luther Mar MLK National Basketball Association. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay, it's gonna release 2021. Yep, when the season starts. Okay. So the thing is, I don't know if this is just for the season or if it's for um, just January for MLK Day or if they're just gonna not. Uh, they're just gonna have it for MLK Day and like not continue it or something. I think it's gonna be for the whole season, but I don't know. I could be wrong. But this is honestly fire. You got the, you got the black and the detail, like the black that and gold and the yellow, the MLK colors. I like that. I like that. Something I can respect. That's pretty nice. Um, all around, this pretty good jersey. I like it, but it could just use a little bit more flair. I get that black and yellow, and gold are the main three MLK colors, but it can use a little more flair, I'll, I'll just say that, okay, now the Nets, bro, it better be some fire, it better be the, oh, oh, is this what I think it is, yes sir, yes sir, it is, okay, so, these are the 1990-91 season jerseys, the tie-dye, these are the ones that Drazen Petrovic wore, RIP Drazen Petrovic, by the way, um, these are the ones that Drazen Petrovic wore in the in that season. These are one of the most goaded Nets jerseys that have ever been created. I will cop these right here. I would. This is a major cop uh, when they come out, but they're gonna be like overpriced for retail, so I gotta wait a little bit. Um, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, Brooklyn Nets on Kyrie. 
Okay, and they got the number 11 and 7, so KD and Kyrie. Hopefully, KD is healthy this year. but Or not healthy, but he doesn't get injured way too much and healthy. Um, but Kyrie rocking that. That's new because it wasn't on here earlier. Don't worry, I didn't look at it. I just looked at the um, tweets earlier. That's I didn't look at the jersey, so I would spoil myself. Okay. Is this going to be for the full season or is this going to be the classic edition court? I think it's just going to be for the... Not for the full season, just for some of the special days that they wear the jerseys so it can match. Because it wouldn't make any sense to wear um, a black court on these jerseys because it would just look weird. Okay. Charlotte. Ooh, these are nice. These are just regular uh, association and statement jerseys. So these are just going to be the regular jerseys for the season. Hopefully they got some uh, city just in here because I'm trying to see that. Hopefully it's like the old school Muggsy Bogues type stuff. I like that. That was pretty good. Muggsy Bogues, one of my favorite players, by the way. Um, new city uniform. Oh, no, bro. No, this is what I didn't want. Oh, it's so ugly. Oh, my gosh. This is so ugly. Oh, leave in the comments below if you think there's a W or L. I think this is an L for sure. It brings back 2000, like, 2000, uh, what was it? Like, 2007 to 2010 vibes when CB3 was on the, when CB3 got drafted in the NBA and he was on the Hornets, or New Orleans Hornets, but now it's the Charlotte Hornets because they changed it back. Uh, bro, I did not like this. Uh, uh Maybe if they had, like, the old school, like, the actual ones, like, the actual, like, not this color. This cyan on here does not look good with the mustard yellow. Uh, yeah, good with the colors, by the way. Just saying. But this does not look good together. Uh-uh. I guess it's Jordan, yeah. But, like, no, bro. This just, a, that's an L. That's a big L. Mm-mm. And they got Devontae Graham, one of my favorite players, rocking it. Uh, that just makes it worse. Not that he's one of my favorite players, but that he's rocking a trash jersey. Uh, this court is an L, too, bro. It just looks so iffy. It's just got some colors that are like, mm-mm. No, mm-mm. Got some dull colors. Like, I'm not about to pull up in that and be like, oh, this is a nice court. Like, no, bro. Come on. KB out the Bulls. Bulls better be something special. All I know is Bulls better be something special. Like, last year, the, those jerseys were fire. Those jerseys were fire. The Stars, the Chicago Stars, those were heat. Uh, bro, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? Come on, man. Come on, bro. These are so bland. They better not be bring. At first, it was heat, but now it's just. No, bro. These are so bland. Oh, my gosh. Kobe White finally did some was there good. These are, uh-uh, uh, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it, guys. I'm not feeling it. This is an L. The second, these two are an L, that's for sure. These are big L's. Uh, no, uh-uh. Nah, bro. It's just... Ooh. Now we jump back into the heat. Okay. Got the Warriors jerseys. I seen a leak of these, but I didn't see. I saw, like, it was like a little commercial. But they didn't show the actual full jersey. Uh, but they have uh, commercials for it now or whatever. But I'm not watching those because I've seen it right here. So, got the Oakland and, like, the Golden State, uh, all that stuff. Where the court is. Okay, this is nice. This is really nice. This gives me, like, uh, early 2000 vibes uh, with the uh, Warriors. That's the only Warriors I'll accept, though. I do not like the Warriors. I'm not a Warriors fan, bro. If you see me, if you're looking for Warrior answers, I'm not a Warriors fan, dog. I'm not a Warriors fan, bro. Come on. Um, but, like, the early 2000 vibes with Lance Stevenson, Baron Davis, uh, Stephen, Stephen Jackson. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Monte, El Monte Ellis. Oh, my goodness. That Those were good times, bro. Those were the golden times. I swear. Yeah, they got Steph Curry rocking it with the Braves. Okay, that's that might be a cop. Honestly, not the Curry, though. Not the Curry. Not a Curry fan. Uh-uh. Nope. 
Uh, Grizzlies. Uh, it's a tone down. It's not nothing. Spe- it's not anything special. It's just yeah. That's definitely a tone down. It says the 2001-2002 season when like uh, Jason Williams and Mike Bibby were playing, and um, Marcus Gasol. Marcus Gasol. I think Pau Gasol played too on that team. I'm not sure. I think Marcus Gasol was the one who's more uh, famous on that team though. And Powell is more famous than the Lakers. So Memphis, yeah, it's it's not that good. I don't I don't like it. But these are only the city edition. If only they could put the uh, season uniforms as uh what do you call it? If only they could put the season uniforms as like jerseys. Like the city ones, like the throwback one last year or this year. With the turquoise, that was fire. Okay, now we got the Pelicans. Got me thinking that the um, Hornets were the Pelicans with those ugly jerseys. Okay, ooh. Okay, those are nice. Those are nice. I like those. It's in more depth of, like, uh, New Orleans and stuff. Got the Spartan. I think they're Spartan Spears. I don't know what they're called. Put it in the comments what they're called because I totally forgot. Maybe, like, the Charger Spears? I don't know. I don't know. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Okay, got the Zion Williams. I like the red and the blue. It brings back like when AD, AD was on the uh, Pelicans and they rocked those jerseys. It brings out more New Orleans than uh, the NOLA City jerseys that they have now. Uh, even though I know the NOLA City jerseys were green, yellow, and purple, which represents like uh, Mardi Gras and stuff from New Orleans. But I still like this because it just got more pop to it, I guess. And it's just, like, sim- more simplistic, and it's not, like, overdoing it with all the uh, things that don't- doesn't need to be there. Okay, there's a setback. There's a drawback. Mm-mm. There's another drawback. This is definitely another drawback. They just, uh, The only thing they did with these, they literally just put them into white. If you look on the dunk contest or this season at all, any of the highlights from the Magic, you might find a game where they have the jerseys like this, and they're black, and they never had a white version. But these are L. Mm-mm. It's the same thing. They didn't even change it. I was expecting them to change it to like the, uh, like the 1995-1996 uh, season. Those were nice. They were this, but blue and white. Like the ones T-Mac rocked in like 2000s. Those were good. Ooh, Phoenix Suns. Ooh, DeAndre Aaron with the Heat. Okay. Hopefully I'll see him playing more. He's a pretty good player this year. I mean, he was playing pretty good this year. He's ran into a bunch of injuries. Ooh, the Valley. Okay, they got the pixelated kind of thing, kind of arcade feel, I guess you could say. And then they got, like, the Valley in the back, Arizona Valley. Yeah, it says we support we support the Valley. We play the Valley. Now we're repping the Valley City Edition. Okay, okay, that was nice. Okay, I seen the leak from this. I'm not trying to watch this. It's, it, I mean, it's kind of blandish, but... Okay, y'all might hate me for this one, but... I believe that these are uh, it's just immaculate, bro. These are amazing. Okay, look. Boom. These are, I mean, I don't think rocking the compression shorts or, like, the compression pants will be looking good. But at the same time, I feel like it's just a good uh, jersey just to rock with, like, a, I don't know if you want to be wearing, like, a brown sweatshirt or sweater when you wear it or hoodie or anything. Maybe like a, I say like a white hoodie just to put it on over because of all the colors you can't really match it with everything, and like some Air Jordan One lows with like uh, the new like Aztec uh, print on it. Those would be fire. That would be a drip outfit. Um, but yeah, it says pays homage to the team's state of Oregon. Okay, so it's pretty nice. I I like it. I just wish the outline wasn't brown because you can't really match it with that. But the outline's red. I mean the color, the main color. And it just has a lot of colors that represent Oregon, I guess. You got the red, you got the blue. Two blues, light blue and dark blue. And then you got the yellow. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, these are nice, honestly. Now, we, we're coming up against the Sacramento Kings. Or, up, up to the Sacramento Kings. My bad. So, 1985 baby blue road uniform. And 19... 19- 94 checker alternate uniform it says these will be used as the city edition uniform okay so these are not the season these are just the city edition okay i like these better than the 
ones they had this year because the ones they had this year were just way too bright. If I was on the court playing against that team, I would literally be way too distracted by the uh, color of the jerseys and the ball moving. Okay. San Antonio Spurs, probably the final one, I think. Ooh. Ooh, these are he. I think I've seen these on court before, but they just were never unveiled. It was like one game that they wore them. The 1990s, they rarely wore these. These were like a rarely worn jersey, but they were really good. I think rarely anybody has uh, their hands on this from the 1990s, like the 1990s edition, not the uh, new edition, because I think they're coming out with uh, some new editions on Nike right now. Like, if you pull up Nike, you can see these jerseys. So if you want to cop some, probably go there. Not sponsored by Nike, but I'm just saying. Old school, authentic uh, heritage. Okay, not nice watching that video. DeJounte Murray with the cut, looking nice. Okay. Now the Rhino Raptors. Just waiting for this. Okay, those are nice. These bring back like when Kobe was playing the uh, Toronto Raptors when he had an 81 point game uh, against, what's his name? I forgot his name. But against, his, against that team. And yeah, I like the one Pascal's rocking. Just with the white and red, it brings back major 2000 vibes. Kyle Lowry, no, I don't like that one. And the one OG has is not that good. So I just like the white one mainly. Just bring back 2000 vibes. Okay, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, that's going to end off today's video. Make sure if you like or if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And yeah, comment down below if you want to see me do more of these videos and just show me and like link in the uh, comment section what type of videos you want me to do. And yeah, I'm Breezy Buckets. Have a great day and I'm out.